hey what's up you guys my name is dennis welcome and welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to design a jota fan induction or oath taking ceremony like this and without any further ado let's go into the video subscribe and click on the bell so you won't miss any video so i'll be using corel 2020 for this tutorial and if you are using any other version of corel then you've got no problem because all the tools are the same and every placement are the same all you need to know is to know the position of your tool and every other element on your workspace so let's go to corel draw so these are the pictures the resources i'll be using for this tutorial this is the picture the logo the nice background i'll be using and these are this is the brush i'll be using for this tutorial and i'll link up the resources for this tutorial as well as the corel draw file down in the description so you can download and use them for your own design as we have always done first we choose a size for this design and i'll be using a4 for this design so i'll simply click here and click on a4 and click here to make it landscape and this is what we are going to design with and the next thing i'm going to do is to double click on my rectangle tool to get this shape and click here and drag and bring it to where you get this center and right click before you leave and click on this other one and do the same again take it to this side to get to a5 just like this and this is going to be our front cover and this is going to be the back cover of this jota okay and next thing i'm going to do is to select the two shapes and right click here to take off the outline of the shape because i don't like working with outline okay and the next i'm going to do is to click on this background right click and bring it to the shape and leave then you see power click inside and if you can't follow that pattern you can simply right click on the shape and click on power click inside and click on the shape you want to power click the background then the background is inside the shape then you simply adjust this by pressing alternate on your keyboard and clicking on the shape then you select the background inside simply and adjust it this way by clicking alternate on your keyboard before clicking the background you simply want to select the object inside the power clip and that is what i've done here to select the object inside the power clip then i can adjust my background the way i want it to be then this is how it goes okay and the next i'm going to do is to power clip the picture inside the shape also right click on the picture and click on power clip inside and then click on the shape just like this and click alternate on your keyboard and click on this picture then you can adjust it to this direction like this and it looks very cool here next up i'm going to bring up this logo into the design by selecting the two logos and bringing them here just as it is like this and that is the perfect position for the logo and i've already typed out all the text i'll be using for this design in my microsoft word and i'm going to click on microsoft word and copy out all the text i'll be using for this design and bring them to corel draw and i'll click on my text tool click and press ctrl v to paste and it gives me this dialog box where i have to choose the method of how i want to paste it i'll simply click on discard font and formatting and and here it comes I'll simply highlight congratulations and press ctrl x on my keyboard then paste it here and click and click on text change case text change case to title case to get like this and i'm going to change this to brotherhood script the typeface i'll be using is brotherhood script here and here it is you can enlarge it that way and bring it here and simply give it a blue color by clicking blue and right click on blue again to give it a blue outline so the text becomes thicker than it is next up click on the rectangle tool and create a simple shape like this and click on your shape tool and hold it to make it have round edges just as you can see and give it a magenta color right click here to take off the outline and it looks very perfect then you can simply copy this into that particular shape ctrl x to cut and ctrl v to paste then click here and change my type to futura
and this looks very cool then reduce this and bring it into the design give it white color and bring it into this design just as you can see it looks very cool like this and next up i am going to copy this induction slash oath taking and press ctrl x and press ctrl v to paste then change the typeface to the bold font and this is it it looks very cool the typeface is the bold font and i'm going to bring it here while i'll be able to adjust it the way i want it to be i'll simply press ctrl k on my keyboard to break this text apart then press select both of them and press c on my keyboard to centralize them just as you can see then i'll select the both of them and press ctrl g and click and hold here so you can click on contour to and simply click on outside contour then you have this effect like this you can change the color of the contour so you can see how your color looks very well and adjust the contour just like this by clicking and hold here till it fits what you really want you can simply adjust the contour here or or you click here to adjust the contour and i want my contour to have a round corner so i will simply click on contour corners and click on round corners then you see my contour has a round corner just as you can see and it looks very cool like this next up i'm going to break out this contour and i want my text to stand alone while the contour should stand alone next i'm going to click on my contour tool to activate my contour then i'll click on my contour tool here and click on this to activate my contour and i'll simply click on ctrl k to break the contour apart just as you can see here the contour has been broken and the contour is apart and my text is apart then i'm going to give my contour a white color and give my text a blue color just like this and i'll click on interactive fill tool and fill this text with a and fill this text with cyan and i'll adjust my fill like this and this looks very cool then i'm going to give my click on my contour and give my contour a shadow click here and hold and click click here and hold and click on shadow tool and give this a shadow just like this adjust the shadows just like this and it looks very cool then i'm going to select i'm going to select this press ctrl g to group and bring it into this design just like this Then this looks very cool here and i have to centralize all my text in my design like this and press c it looks very cool next up i'm going to select this and press ctrl x and paste here and i'm going to give it a futura typeface and make it bold and reduce this make it at least 12 points and bring it here then i'm going to create a white shape to make it pop out like this and um, select this again white press ctrl x to cut this shape and open up the power clip by pressing ctrl and clicking on the shape to open up this power clip and press ctrl v to paste it and press ctrl page down to send this shape to the back so it won't cover this image just like this the shape goes back to the image and i press ctrl and click outside here to close the power clip so this text is on top of the shape and it looks very cool then you can give this a magenta color just like this it looks very nice and next up you can see this congratulation is not really out because the background is competing with the text so i'm going to blow a white background back there and this text will look very perfect so I have to open up my power clip and click on ellipse tool and create a circle shape like this. Give it a white color. Right click it to take off the outline and click on effect and click on blur and click on Gaussian blur. And you can adjust the blur till it fits into the background. Just as you can see, it looks very nice. Okay. And you open this up again and press ctrl page down to send it to the back of this picture and close and it looks very cool 
you can adjust this blur so it positions very well by clicking on your alternate and select the blur inside the power clip and adjust it this way and this looks very cool because it makes the congratulation to pop out and it looks very nice okay next up i'm going to copy out this again press ctrl x to cut and press ctrl v here to paste it here and adjust this like this and click on rectangle tool to create this shape like this and give it a blue color like this cyan yeah cyan and use your shape tool to click on these two nodes select the two nodes here and make this round and this edge is round like this and you can transparent this before then press ctrl page up and send this to the top and change the typeface to the bold font just like this it looks very cool okay and adjust your alignment to center alignment just like this and this looks very cool then you can adjust the tracking like this and give it a white color this is very nice i think that was wrong okay it looks cool now and i'm going to adjust this shape again to fit the text select the two of them and press E to centralize it with the shape and this looks very nice then click on transparency tool and make this background transparent by clicking on uniform transparency and you can see how it looks then you can adjust the transparency till it makes the white text to pop out a little and that is okay it looks very nice here next up i'm going to bring in this brush down the design like this power clip inside and this looks very cool and you can adjust it like this and this looks very nice and i'm going to bring in these names here i'll copy out scientist emmanuel and paste and press ctrl k to break the text then I'm going to change Emmanuel to title case like this. It looks very cool, right? And I'm going to make the typeface Brotherhood script. And I'll bring it here. It looks very nice. Just as you can see. Press shift and select the shape and press C to centralize this and give it a blue color. Right click to make the outline tick and it makes this name pop out and i'll bring in sciences here and change this to futura and reduce it to at least 14 points it looks very cool now place it here and i'll place it here and give it magenta color it looks very cool and you can adjust this again to fit the space up there and then i'm going to bring this here press ctrl x to cut and press ctrl v to paste here and change this to the bold font and centralize this press ctrl k to break text and you can change this to futura and it looks very cool you reduce this and bring it down here just like this and centralize then bring it here and this looks very cool you can give this magenta color and allow this to be black and this looks very nice you can see the tail of this e crosses over this so i'm going to use my rectangle tool to create this shape like this and press shift on the keyboard and select emmanuel text and click on trim to trim out that tail there and this looks very cool just as you can see and i'm going to bring this down here and change the type size to 12 and centralize it just like this then i'm going to make this futura and it looks very cool and i'm going to click on the pen tool to create these lines like this and i'll change this to one point bring this to this other side and make it one point and this looks very nice you can make this magenta it gives this design a very nice look so we are done with the front cover of this designer the next place we are going to work on is the back cover so i'm going to click on the shape on the back cover 
and click here and drag to the center and right click before you leave to duplicate the shape give it a blue color and it looks very cool click on the blue color again press control on your keyboard and click on cyan to lighten up the blue a little by adding few tones of cyan and it makes the color to look perfect just as you can see and i'm going to click on this picture and right click and click on power clip inside then click into the shape then the picture comes into the shape just like this and click on the transparency to click on match mode and select highlight and click on match mode and select hard light and this has this picture has this effect you can see here it looks very nice next thing i'm going to do is to create a shape like this remember to stay away from the edge of the design because this because this is a jota design and there will be punch holes here and here so you should stay clear from the edge of the design so the punch holes won't affect your design okay and i'm going to create this shape like this and reduce it and duplicate then you can give this a blue color like this and it looks very cool well you give this a 1.5 point outline and right click here to give it a magenta color just as you can see take this up a little and do the same again by duplicating this and do it again by duplicating this and it looks very nice then you can reduce this again and take this up a little it looks very cool all i'm going to do is to power clip these three pictures into these shapes then i'm going to select the three pictures and bring them closer click on the picture right click and click on power clip inside and click here do the same again to this other picture and do the same again to this other picture then you can simply click on alternate on your keyboard click on the picture and adjust it inside the shape and do the same again press alternate click and adjust do the same again press alternate click and adjust this picture just like this and this looks very cool so i'm going to zoom into this design so we can see how the whole design looks like so this is what we came up with as the final copy of our design as i've promised the link on the description will be available to download the corel draw file of this design only for my patreon family thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next video to be the best you can be as a graphic designer kindly subscribe and click on the bell so you won't miss any video